Today I want to introduce a concept I've been working on. Uh, it's based on this Noster notes and other stuff transmitted by relays, which is basically a distributed network which allows you to uh, overcome some of these shortcomings that, uh, you know, problems with Twitter and people getting deplatformed. Uh, Mastodon's a step up, but there's a bunch of other problems there. It, this was made towards, uh, you know, the communication, social network type of thing, but the other stuff here is what I'm working on, and I have this idea that uh, you can load and run applications and store them under the same uh, platform, same architecture. So I made this pull request, uh, it's pull request number 14 under the Noster, and here's a description of it. And the, you know, like I said, we're going to be able to create, deploy, and retrieve and run apps. So I have it as a two-step process. First, you register the app, that will give you a unique ID, and then any further deployments, you can reference that ID and run newer code without having to worry about, you know, the actual content addressable. It has a problem in itself because when the content changes, so does its, you know, location, its ID. But since we're referencing the original ID, we always are going to get the most current code. Uh, it's been suggested that this be a one-step and that's a possibility in the future but for right now i'm going to demonstrate it as a two-step as it was originally planned so i put together this little playground to where you can you know do the registration of the app and and the deployments and you can load and run the app so let's get into it i'm going to register a to do app Registered. You can see my event log here that it's registered. You can see what the actual app looks like. It's pretty much, you know, I gave it a, you know, a new kind made up out of the air. It's not really 100% to spec. And it just gives it a name. And I have this ID right here, which I can reference when I go to deploy, deploy the app. So let me grab the code for the to-do app, paste it in here. And hit my deploy button it's going to reference this id you can see in the deploy uh, tab there in the deploy input so i deploy that you can see deployment of to do app and what that looks like is uh, you know you have these tags here which are part of the nostra spec and what i'm doing is referencing that first id and so that's how i know the c is you know, for code this is the id that where i registered the app and this is an encoded version of the text, which there's a problem with sending strings, and that's something that needs to be fixed. But that should be just a regular HTML string. Uh, it'll eventually be that once we figure out what the problem is, whether it's in the relay itself or it's in the Nostra tools. But anyway, so I have this app deployed. I can load it up and run it. So it's pulled that right off the Nostra relays itself, and I can start, you know, Video. I added a to-do list and you can see down here in the event log there's another event that was sent with a communication there's communication between the app and the actual what I call the client which I envision as a Nostra browser so you basically have your client which is kind of like your web browser but it's talking Nostra instead of HTTP and uh, that will always be up to date with the latest Nostra tools. And then you create the apps and store them on Nostra, and then you can pull them up, and any you know, fixes you have are going to be up to date for, for that Nostra framework itself. So you have that, and uh, the new event came in. You can see that it's referencing that same application, and it's a type of add task, which is specific to the little you know, applet itself, the to-do app that I deployed which, you know, you can make these be anything you want. Uh, the A is uh, for application, action, whatever. And so you have, you, you know the type. It's got another new kind, which is arbitrary at this point. Uh, I've made no changes to the Nostra relays or anything. This is just Nostra as it stands today. You're able to do this, but the specification calls for, you know, different changes to the relays and everything. But I can show that it works today, so that's what I'm doing here. So I'm in a to-do app. Can add another item, you know, fix HTML strings. I 
had that, got another event. Now, I have this playground set up so I can run multiple identities. So if I switch identities and reload the app, so I, as if I were in another browser as another person with another set of keys, and now I can, you know, show more people. Okay, you can see an event. You can see on the left here that it's from this ID, whereas the previous two events were from another ID. So if I go back to my original and reload the app, it pulls those from the Nostra network and it's, you know, displaying, you know, my previous to-do list. Uh, so there's that. I can also go back, you know, and start over. I want to create another app. Tick, tack, toe. So now I registered the app here, you can see, and it's you know very similar to what we did with the other. Uh, I have that selected, so if I go and get its code, and I can now deploy that. And if I load that, it's broken. Oh, I didn't wait long enough, did I? Deployment of tic-tac-toe, okay, sorry about that. So now you see a totally different app being deployed and being run on Austria. This one has no communications, but I want to, for demonstration purposes, in the future have, you know, multiple players and it's sending a message back and forth and, you know, through the Nostra using that as a messaging. So I can go back, you know, reselect my to-do app here and load that. Oh no, I didn't, I didn't select it. I have to select there. Reload that so I'm back to my you know, original profile, my original to-do list. And there you have it. Uh, this code will be posted once it gets cleaned up. Uh, and thanks for watching.